And then this, this room again all speaks to uh, a family and um, there's Child Lines uh, by Eloise Greenfield that's our memoirs um, um, from her, her family, um, actually three generations of, of writers telling their story, um, which is very, very powerful. Um, I made a comment earlier, it's amazing that you see also this work is this sense of um, being in two worlds. You, you're going to see work of southern life um, and also married with urban life. Uh, and that is, has, has a lot to do with the fact that my parents migrated from the south. Even though I grew up in the north and I grew up around brick and concrete, um, we lived lives of, 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 of southern, the southern culture, because what we, um, what we ate um, and, um, and this whole sense of storytelling really is, is, is generated by um, the spirit and this um, sense of oral tradition of telling story that it comes directly out of the south. And um, also this sort of reverence paid to nature and being outside um, from a kid who grew up closed in. If you see earlier um, preliminary work, it was usually pencil on, um, on tracing paper and um, where the decisions were made by just overlaying uh, tracing over tracing. Um, and I, at one point, um, I felt a strong need to not, um, uh, to have the decision making as part of the process. Um, and I think what you see here is that the decision making is, you see a drawing that's in a sort of a sepia color. And I would um, revise that drawing and develop that drawing by just overworking it with a darker uh, marker. Um, and I think what it allowed me to do was to be more in touch with the individual figures. You know, because I, and, and, and the decision process was so immediate as opposed to a tracing where you could erase or you could um, tear off a sheet and get rid of it. This was it. So it, I, the immersion in the drawing and subject became much more uh, immediate and in a way much more intense. This is my palette. Um, I, I rarely clean my palette. Um, I, sometimes I take a, a wet towel and I clean out the little spots. Um, but that's, that's it. Joyce, is that the whole painting? Yeah, it's a portion of the It's, it's segmented out. You can go look at the painting on the far yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, it's really see pretty how we segmented. It's very, very close, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the scene. The right. scenes. Right, we used your yeah. scenes to make our scenes. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell you something else that's, it, that um, was kind of interesting about these paintings, because um, um, they're in papers, by the way, and um, uh, and the in papers here serve to introduce the reader um, to the place where these stories are, are set. And um, what I was trying to attempt to do was to tell the place you in a room um, uh, or the place you in a time period by creating these in papers, which you view first. Uh, and interesting enough. Um, we don't have them here, but there, um, there are two sketches where I started with the first front end papers where it was a room, it was the whole room, it was a table, um, uh, with a setting of about some, I think maybe coffee cups, I don't know, but there was a door and there was a pot belly stove and you could, so what I, the idea I started with is I wanted you to, when you open the cover of the book, you would, you would be in that space. Um, and it's almost like I, I, I um, honed it down or condensed it in a way that this wood planking uh, serves the same, uh, uh, I think, the same purpose. And I think this is much more effective. Have you yeah. thought of doing a longer line? Right. Well, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I may venture off. Who knows? <laughs> There's all kinds of possibilities now.